Hello, this is John Dilworth, and we are going to experiment with something here. A uh, little tap dancing. So here is our hero, and he's been doing this thing, about to approach his enemy. Yeah, he does all this stuff. And this guy takes his toy and puts it in his pocket. Now, what's interesting to me about this is that, I, I mean, this villain is playing with his game here on the left, and he moves forward first. I'm, I just want him to put his, his Game Boy away, and he moves forward, and then puts his hands down. So here's like one, and then up, and then down, and then his foot comes out to go down. I mean, this is what I love. And the hands come over, and his other foot moves, and then he puts it away. So, I don't know. This, to me, is much more interesting. And here it is in time. So, uh, it's not boring. For me, it's so much more interesting. And it's economical, of course. Um, and also, there's the element of uh, that this fellow here who I call Tiny. He's never tiny. When when bullies are bullies, they're never tiny. So uh, what's interesting is that his actions will be in direct contrast to our hero's actions, where which are full, and he's dun 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 dun, 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 dun right, and he comes to a stop and right, get out of town, get out of town. Right? And he has a little nervous twitch. All this noise. And so, and here is just a model of um, Tiny. So I know proportions. I, I like to animate with this as a guide. Very, very helpful. And then, of course, here's the shadows. And the background looks something like that. That's Margaret Fry. And there's a tree I'm going to... I need that tree. All right, so what I want to do something I've never done before. I'm going to try to put together a little tap dancing of this cat. A little tap dancing. I want him to tap dance. And I want the tree. I need to see the tree. So let me put the tree there. And then I'm going to go here. And what I'm going to do is kind of rough out this action of him tap dancing. And what I, I guess what I'll do really is I've got a blue. What would happen what happens? He's going to initially jump up, clap his hands, and then get into it. Now the tap is... Oh, so here's his fat body. Something like... Ooh, I've got a fat... i got to change my... Hold on now. i got to change this. It's too big. I work in a one. I like the line. So here's his fat body. I'm just going to do this for now. And here's his foot, right? So his hip is here. And there's his other foot. That foot is there. Nope. That's to, so my eyes don't burn. I have that software to help me look away. But I'm not going to do that right now because we're engaged in something really cool. Okay, so that's generally what's happening, right? I'm, not, I'm just going to use that as a sort of guide. And this is really where I'll start. So let's see, he's there, right? Change that to red. So I'm going to have him come down, right? He's going to want to come down first. So I'm going to have him come down. This is thing. This is foot. And this other foot here, well, let's slide it in, right? Let's just slide it in. And then... Let's say he lifts off with this foot. Right, let's see. He lifts off. His fat body would be there. And this foot is just going to come up. I'm going to go higher. He's a big fat guy, so he can't really get off the ground too much. Right, that's if he, do, he does that, right? And then this. And then he's going to come down. 
Oh, whoa. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're live, of course, from Stretch Felt. Hello, John Dilworth. Hold on, hold on, will you? I'll call you right back. Okay, so let me just finish this thing because, whoa, imagine if that was the President of the United States telling us that uh, we have nothing to worry about, that there, are, there is no, Fukushima is not here in America, destroying us all slowly, but surely. No, so we can animate the rest of our lives in happiness. So I need to know where this cat is. So, can we reuse the same feet going down? That's a big cheat. That's a big cheat. Can we? Not really. Because what we want to do is... Well, we can, in fact. We can go backwards. What's happening? The loopy loop is here. We can, in fact, use them again. And that's what I'm going to do as soon as this loopy loopy thing going. I guess it's saving, it's saving my business. And see this character here, whatever he's doing, I've decided to use his pupils, not his eyes, but his pupils to follow the action. Because I have observed that the pupils are very, very active. It's not just the blink alone that makes an eye active and alive. You know, blinking, blinking, oh, the character's alive. But it's the pupils' actions, the pupils. And I've noticed that also in CG, when we were doing, of course, the Courage Short, uh, working with the uh, master, uh, well, they're not technicians, but they're CG artists. And there's a program, uh, apparently, that keeps pupils alive, can dilate them, can expand them. But they're always moving, they're never static. So anyway, I'm doing a little thing there, and I can't show you right now because, of course, uh, the loopy-loopy spinning cycle world of wonders never cease, goes on forever and ever, just as long as you don't think, one doesn't think, you know, and just look at the, 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 the swirling ball, the multicolored rainbow ball, everything will be all right, you just can tell yourself this thing. And uh, one day when it stops, you can go back to work. Oh, it stops. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to go backwards. So let me think here. Where did he start? From there, right? So I'm just going to take those two. Well, well, I'll just copy them. Nope, don't do that, Dilworth. Okay, copy this. And I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to copy that. Copy that, and I'm going to put it there. Right? And then let's see what... And then he goes down here. And we don't need all that noise. And then he wants to kick up again. So, we, so he goes up. And at this time, it's this foot that pushes him up. And this leg will go a kicking. Come on now, my little pen. My pen of pens, my digital magic pen. And then this one, he's not going to be so high, but this foot, right. So he's got it, he's got it in the middle of the tree. I don't like that. So we want to go, so we'll kick like that. And I'll cheat this foot here. So it looks like that. And then he can come back down. He's there. He needs to come back down. I need him to go back to here. So I'm going to take that, copy that, put it there, put it there, and then I can do an in-between. I can put an in-between. So he's going down, but he's heavy, right? So I'm going to keep him up here. I'm just going to keep him up here. And this foot here, I'm just going to... And then this one will just will be there. So let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Ha ha ha! Wait a minute, hold on, I don't even know. Ha ha ha! Wow, yeah, that kind of works. It's not timed, it's only on ones right now. I'm just trying to get 
the rough mechanics of this thing. <laughs> but that made me laugh. It's like, do do do. <laughs> yeah. So, what happens now after I get this noise? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So, we got that part. We'll get part two on another time.